The fluff in the nest box hole you see here is hair stripped from our Border Terrier dogs, Echo and Teeny. We put the fur in the nest box thinking a wee family of blue tits might like to use it as a well insulated nest for the summer, like this one here when he or she grows up. At the start of June 2021, I noticed the fur was sticking out, so I pushed it back in with my finger. I got quite a surprise when a load of these wee guys and girls came rushing out. Clearly not blue tits. They're called Bombus hypnorum, or tree bumblebees. With their ginger fur, you'd be forgiven for thinking they're Scottish, but they're not originally from around here. They were first recorded in 2001 in Wiltshire, England. Rumour has it they got here either by being blown across the channel on a very strong wind or that a queen hibernated in a plant that was imported into the UK from continental Europe. And during the last 20 years they've slowly moved north and reached Scotland. Unsurprisingly, given their name, tree bumblebees like to live on the edge of forests and they find bird boxes a perfect ready-made nesting solution. Many of the UK's native bee species are sadly gone or in decline. We need some help and these little guys and girls are excellent little pollinators for our crops and flowers. They work tirelessly all day long. When we first saw them swarming as they are here, we were a little nervous, but we found out that this serves a particular purpose, and they really don't mean us any harm. All the wee bees buzzing around here doing their fancy dance are males, and they can't sting. They fly in little formations, so we've nicknamed them the Ginger Arrows. They're here keen to fulfil their only life goal, to mate, and eagerly waiting for the new queens to leave the nest. When a queen emerges, the males go mad chasing her around. After she's made her choice, she sometimes carries the male on her back, somewhere more private. As you can see, there's a lot of competition, but some of them get lucky, like this wee guy here. We found this pair near the nest having their moment. Mating takes between 30 and 45 minutes in total. During the first couple of minutes, the male impregnates the queen with his sperm, and a fascinating part comes next. The male then stays connected, and he injects a sticky mixture into the queen's opening. This plug takes around 25 minutes to set, and can last for up to three days. Its purpose is to maximise the chances of this bee's gene pools being passed to the next generation. Isn't nature amazing? And sometimes they can be interrupted by another enthusiastic male. This little chancer was too late. Here's another mating pair. This wee guy looks like he's hanging on for his life. Towards the end of July, the nesting period ends. And after that, the workers and the males keep foraging on their own until they eventually die off. The new queens hibernate underground through the winter and they emerge next spring when they'll each make a new nest and the process will start all over again. We feel incredibly flattered that these little tree bumblebees chose our garden to make their nest. They're well-behaved, pleasant guests and fascinating to observe. So much so that we're going to really miss them when they go. Next year, I won't be blindly sticking my fingers into any nest box holes, but I will make more nest boxes to encourage more tree bumblebee families to move in.
I think it's fair to say that we've become rather smitten with these little creatures and we want to help them and encourage them as much as we can. We hope you've enjoyed this little video about the tree bees, Bombus hypnorum, and that you too might consider giving them a helping hand. If you would, place your nest box in a south-facing position, around 1.5 metres from the ground. Choose a space that you don't often use, so the bees can get some privacy to do their own thing. And if you find a nest that's already in place, and it's in your way, please don't hire pest control to kill them. They'll only be there for a few weeks, so if you can, please leave them be. If you can't, go online and you should be able to find somebody that'll be able to move the nest without killing the bees. Bees are a critical part of our ecosystem, so let's do our best to keep them safe and protect them.